What's up everyone and today we are doing a comparison video for New Age Michael uh, Omega Supreme and Pengu Toys Omega Supreme um, I forget what their actual name is for it's something Miracle God Mighty Miracle God or something like that but so um, we're just gonna take um, a look at these guys I'm gonna move the camera around so you can see so there is um, Pengu Toys and I got him with some legacy figures the Optimus Prime the Nemesis Prime and it doesn't look too bad um, you can see that this tank does not move it is not battery operated so let's just take a look at everything that we can sorry about the camera shaking but yeah so let's just go ahead and remove these characters for now it does come with this little guy here it didn't come with a name and i'm not too sure what his name is he's just like the repair bot So, yeah, let's just move these guys and we're going to take a look at this shuttle. It's a pretty cool shuttle. Um, now, it does not have a door that comes down, but it does have these claws that can bend but they're actually the landing pad are oh maybe it does maybe it does oh yeah it does so here we go so let's just turn that and there we go we can have it so that there's the door opening that's pretty cool let's move that down you can see that there's a door opening there um, actually, before we do this, let's just go over to the new age and uh, we'll start Michael up here. And as you can see, it is battery operated. We can take a look and we got him with some new age figures. We got Megatron, we got Miss Prime, and we got Riddick right there as well. And uh, he is battery operated. The battery seems like it's dying already, but it shouldn't be, but we're going to turn that off just for now. But, yeah, so that's what that looks like. And, again, for this one, that's what that looks like. And we'll just come back to our normal setup right here so we can take Megatron out of the picture and put him off with these guys. Again, over here, they can just sit over here for now and get rid of Riddick and Optimus Prime. All right, so we were looking at the shuttle. I'll lift that up a bit. And now let's look at New Ages. So I believe New Ages also comes down um, it's gonna be really tight to get this piece out just give me one second Alright, so here we go. We can get that out and we can flip up this ramp. And you 
you can see that they both have ramps. Now, getting this to stay properly is another story on these characters. So, there you go. They both have ramps, which is pretty cool. Um, again, it does not like to stay properly. I don't know why that they don't, but they just don't. So, there you go. Um, they are pretty much the same in size, which is pretty cool. Um, but as for Rocket Skill, I definitely like the New Age one. So, New Age gets a point. Alright, so let's close this up. And we could put these off to the side. I do like how this slides out though. But we can just put these off to the side. So now let's look at the tank. So this is uh, Pangu Toys tank mode um i've tried a lot to try to get this piece up i just don't want to but you can and rotate his head around but i'm fine with his head sticking out of the back so it does have these cannons that protrude out on the bottom here it just has some rollers um it's not a very tight fitting uh, nothing stays in place very well I don't know why but it just doesn't um, but yeah again uh, that's what this tank looks like in all sides in the back oh I forgot to I always forget to do that so this piece does come down and does tab into place there we go There we go. So yeah, it, it does fill out very nicely. Um, you'd never see the bottom when it's over here, but that's what that Pangu Toys uh, looks like. So here is New Age. And uh, it has these little pegs that flip out so it stays on the track. And we're just gonna flip those up. But very cool how solid it is. Uh, again, it has the little pieces that you can pull out. Um, we should go back. Well, let me just say this. This tank nose goes up. His head does do all the way around. Okay. Now, for New Age Michael, we can get it all the way around. But if you want it to come up, you see what happens. And if that's not the case... Then it's always this. You have to get that going and lift that up so that the cannon can move. It does move all the way around, which is cool. But uh, again, you have to take pieces apart to do it. So it does have this feature with a button in front here. And you can see the wheels are spinning. And again, it does run on the track or it can just run anywhere. So, very cool. And again, I'm gonna have to give it another point right here to New Age. So New Age is winning so far, so far. All right, so now let's look at the bases. Um, we'll start with Pangu. Okay, everything is really tight and compact. There's no gap or opening whatsoever. Um, it, it does look good in its base mode. I, I really do like this base mode. Uh, it is a little bit smaller, though. I don't know why this piece doing that but I forgot to put it in so yeah 
it, it, it's it's a really good toy. I like I like this base a lot. So move that over so that we can bring this one over. Move the camera. We'll put this tank over here. So here is oh I forgot to mention on this one. I really do like how these pieces open up so it looks like vehicles can actually go into it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me again. But yeah, I really do like how the it, it, it can do that. So there we go. We'll just put that back over there and we'll bring in this guy over here. So again, it's a very solid piece. I, I really dig this. Um, it, it, it's kind of weird though like I don't know if it's supposed to go like this like I don't know I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be but in the instructions it it literally says to keep them out but it just seems very weird to me that they're out like that so I don't know it, it, it's up to you but it does have uh, these uh, missiles. And I don't believe that this one does. No, it does not. It does not come with the missiles. But yeah, so there is the track for Michael. And we'll just spin this around real quick. And yeah, you can see the backpack. And again, here are those pieces, but there is no opening. Uh, and I do not believe that you can open it because it splits like that, right? So, these just sit in there like that. But yeah, so I, again, I'm going to have to give base mode. Well, this piece of the base mode, another point. So, uh, there we go. Let's put them back side by side. And you can see them together. Put Michael over here. And Pangu over here. And Michael over here and Pangu over here. So, there you go. There's a comparison side by side. So, yeah. But all together as everything comes together like it does, I really do like Pangu's better. So, we'll give Pangu a point. I just like... It's got the more G1 feel to me. Um, I really like how they got silver paint on his tank, whereas New Age, they don't on the tank treads here. And again, in the front here, and the nice big red, as opposed to this yellow over here. So, that being said, let's get down to transformations. Let's move him over here. And we'll start off with the rockets. And we'll move all this over here. And uh, we'll get these guys transformed. Alright, I tried to do stop animation and I'm not too good at it yet, but I'll get there. <coughs> Excuse me. So, breaking news. Join Frankenstein's Patreon for a chance to win buzzworthy Bumblebee. Silver Street. Now back to the video. 
Thanks for the new sound wave. All you have to do is join my Patreon to win. So, let's just bring out these two pieces now. We'll put these arms over to the side. And we'll start off with this guy because he's the easiest. So you take this piece and just open it up like this and like this. Take this piece and just lift it up like that. You can now come over to um, this piece right here. And we're just gonna push those in. Same thing with on that side. And just lift them up like that. Um, and these will just collapse back here. And we can lift that up. Actually, no, that stays down, I believe. Does it stay down or does it go up? No, it goes up. Okay. Um, then we can open these up and this will push in like so. And we can leave this no it stays open and these come down and these pieces here just fold in just like that and there you go so there is that done now for michael we lift this up and we rotate that lift this up rotate that push the guns in um what else I'm trying to remember. Yeah, these come up. This folds open. This comes up. That folds open. These go into there. Like that. And then they fold in on each other like so. Open up this panel right here, like that. This opens up, this flips forward and connects. Um, we can now open up this piece right here. A little harder to do than imagine. I try to use the cannon to pop it open, then we can close that up. That will come down. And I believe it all rotates around. No, this piece rotates around. And then this piece rotates. And I believe these pieces on the side come up. Like that. Do I have that the right way? I think I don't. I think we don't have to rotate that. I'm not sure, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see if this will fold in now. Okay. I know that that goes on there like that. Alright, what am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong here? Is there another hinge here? Yes. Okay, there we go. That's how it goes. And this goes on there. You can rotate this. This piece does Let's go back in here. Come on. Open up. Does that? No, maybe not. Maybe it just... Do I have it all the wrong way? I might have it the wrong way. There we go. I 
I'm pretty sure that's supposed to go in there, but maybe not. We'll figure it out, folks. We'll figure it out. There we go. And I believe these just go on. Just like. this. I believe that's how it goes. And again, these come out and tab in. It would help if they would actually stay out. They're so hard to get out. Oh, I just put that one down. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on out. This is where tools come in handy. All right. So, bam. All trial and error. All trial and error. There we go. So then we can turn his head around. And again, we'll use this little screwdriver to pop out his little thing. So there we go. There are his chest pieces. <laughs> All right, so we'll put those off to the side. We'll put his arms over here. And his arms over here. And we'll get to work on this part right here. So, um, we can take these off. And we fold those in. We can lift this up and this up. And that will release those. We can now bring that forward, I believe, yeah, and this up, just like that. Um, next, we're going to come over here and right here, these pieces will come together and we can now flip him this way and lift those pieces so that these pieces now can flip up like so. Everything will fall into place. Um, oh, it would help if I took these off. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So now that we have that, we can take this piece right here. Now that it's folded inwards, it's just going to, come on, there we go. Fold like that. Same thing for this side. And then we can turn them around. Same thing for this side. Now that we have all that done, we can spin this part around. And for the legs, we're just going to turn this. We're going to rotate the foot all the way around, and that will tab in like that. And this. Hmm. Let's get it the right way. There we go. And as soon as we have that, we're going to take one of these pieces here. And it's just going to go on and push up just like that. So let's see if we can get this foot done right. So we want it to turn this way. We're going to rotate the foot all the way around and collapse these pieces in together like that and again we're going to grab that little yellow piece and we're going to put it down and lift it up and we can lift all this up and this up and this up and 
we have this ready to go and we'll put that over there you can take this piece and just fold it and this piece and just fold it all right so now we have michael so we're gonna undo these first so we have room and this already came off this already came off we have all that now this part here is pretty cool it all accordions in like this and there you go same thing for this side see and then it just accordions in and there you go you have those pieces all right so here is a leg and what we are going to do is rotate rotate um close that in close that in and fold those up and there we go we have this almost done i'm gonna flip out this piece right here and we're gonna remove the cat hair we're just gonna leave that there for now so for this part here we're gonna rotate it all the way around all the way around flip up that piece get rid of the cat hair flip this piece flip that piece flip this piece flip that piece and we have two legs almost ready to go so now for this part we're just going to fold down these legs um, open up this panel and this panel lift these up and what we're going to do now is there's a post right here that we're going to tab the leg into oh. you know what we have to turn that all the way around so that it does go in the right spot do something wrong here I know that this goes together but I think I'm doing something wrong so that goes like that and then that goes like that so it all taps together how does this piece go oh flip in those pieces that would help I'm not sure that goes like that all right Michael you're giving me a hard time why are you giving me a hard time There we go, I think. No. Nope. Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> I figured it out. I figured it out. There we go. Um, there we go. Now we can put these together. Oh, I didn't fold in his foot all the way. There we go. We can turn this around. And we can now take these pieces right here. And they will expand open so that you can. put them on like that expand these open so that you can put this on come on like that all right so we're almost finished we're almost finished okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring these guys over together and we'll lift up this camera and we can now take this guy right here and he will push in and peg into those holes these will now collapse in there these will now collapse over both shoulders and we can move those down and outwards um, from this guy I believe that we have to lift that up close those and the reason why we have to lift that up is because of these arms right here, which will now slide in. And we can put his head back down and push those in and they will peg in as well. And we can now just take his arms for this guy. And there we go. You know what? I think I got the arms on backwards, guys. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that these claw arms go on this side. There we go on that side and gun on that side and we'll just open up Michael here come on there we go lift that up lift that up Lift this up. Pull this out. Rotate it. Put everything back in. Turn his arms around. Bring this down. Bring that down. And push these together. So uh, there you have the two oh we almost forgot so you come over to the back here and I believe no wrong, wrong one no it was the right one so this goes in like that and 
this goes in like that and we can shut that and now he has his wings Michael has his wings and now we could take this guy and these will just pop on there like that and this guy here we can put his on and there we go so here are my two guys there they are and they look pretty damn good they really do I really like these guys so um Pangu Toys is parts forming. It does have these parts right here. They aren't really necessary, but you can use them to extend the rocket and make it bigger. Whereas Michael, he does not. So, for base mode, I'm going to say I like Michael a lot better. But as for robot mode, I like his look a lot better. The only problem is, is that he is very flimsy, very flim flimsy, whereas Michael is not. So, all in all, they're both great characters. It's up to you to decide which one you like the best and, you know, you want to have in your collection. Um... Here's the back of these guys. Again, very flimsy. But yeah, it's all up to you what you want to do. And uh, yeah. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon. And you have a chance to win uh, this guy right here. And uh, if you keep watching, I will show you the video for my 750th subscriber. You'll be able to win one of these guys from my little commercial giveaway. So if you want a chance to win one of these guys, all you have to do is like and subscribe. And you could win either Mr. Optimus Prime, and he's got a blaster or large sound wave with his own ravage or a little sound wave with his little ravage and again all you have to do is like and subscribe watch a video and also if you want a second chance uh you can like and subscribe to the children of primus right there so back to the video but that's about it so this is freaking stein saying Keep playing, Freakenstein. Oh.